guess who I'm with? It's Gear! It's me! I met this guy at Maker Faire this last fall, and he brought out his deployable shield from his backpack, and then I instantly knew who he was. I had no idea who he was before, because he wasn't wearing the mask. And then suddenly he pulls it out and <laughs> deploys the whole shield. It was really cool. We realized that we both live in Pittsburgh. So now we're back in Pittsburgh, and we're trying to think about some kind of cool collaborations that we can do. And then our mutual friend Max knows a guy who does a lot of urbex. So we want to build some kind of thing that can help you in general with going to do urbex. So maybe detecting whether or not there's like hazardous gas in a certain location. So Gear gets this really cool thing called a hacker box, and it's pretty much this subscription service that will just send you a bunch of like cool sensors. So this one's all about electrochemistry. What's this? Yeah, this is the alcohol sensor, so you can make like a tiny little breathalyzer. Oh, that looks like humidity. Overall, all these little sensors you can use to build a project and it even comes with a tiny little LED display so that we can read out all the data and I think that we could probably reprint some sort of uh, urbex pit boy. Right. If you want to add like a pneumatic launcher for it too, so like a distractor thing? Yeah, so I was thinking about creating some sort of pneumatic launcher. That way we could have like a distraction. Maybe there's an animal and we want to scare it off without getting too close because there's all kinds of crazy critters and groundhogs <laughs> that'll, maybe they'll break these, I don't know. But you gotta have some sort of offensive ranged weapon maybe to scare off these pests. We're also talking about adding like a little watchdog unit. It'd be like these little removable things that have their own battery pack. You could place them somewhere in the abandoned building that you're going through and it would listen for footsteps or maybe like look for uh, proximity sensors or something and if it saw something or heard something it would ping back to the main unit and it would like let you know hey you know the first unit heard someone walking you know you should probably dip real quick. And we kind of settled on like the two really big ones we want to dive into are uh, hazardous gas and what was the other one? Oh, and pollution sensors. Yeah, so air quality and hazardous gas. Right. I think what I'm going to do now is take those two sensors, make a little something, a little prototype, just proof of concept. Uh, I think we we're playing around with the idea of just throwing it into an Altoids tin. Steven's doing some really cool stuff with all the programming side, and you know I want to help out his channel. I think he has a lot to offer in the DIY space here on YouTube. I'm going to go ahead and prototype a little circuit, and yeah, and we'll go from there. Yeah. Cool, let's do it! So it works pretty well, but for some reason, this sensor is not really giving me anything. I tried like testing it out to see with propane and smoke, and I'm not getting any readings out of it. There are two pins on here, A and B, and A should go high when there's like some pollution, and then both of them should go high when there's a lot, and I got nothing out of either of them. So there's some other pins here that I just soldered on a little header, and I'm going to probe them with my oscilloscope and see maybe if there's something else that I can get out of it because whatever interface they have here is not working. So I'm going to probe around a little bit and see if there's something I can just pull off the board itself that gives me some good output. Let's give it a try.
So now we know that all the sensors work, the little circuits made, I wrote most of the code, but it looks like poop. So in the next one, I'm gonna work with Gear and his friend who's an industrial designer to make it look awesome. We're gonna make it like all these lights and screens and buttons and like jacks for stuff to plug into it and it's gonna be so cool. So that's coming up in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Hit subscribe if you wanna stay up to date with this project and I'll see you in the next one when we make this thing actually look sick.